how to make the epoxy cups and I promised to make a video so that's what I'm gonna show you so this is my finished cup it's not perfect it's the first cup I ever did and it has a few mistakes but I'm happy with it so here's our cup to start with the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take rubbing alcohol and a cloth and you're just going to wipe it down And you just want to get all the gook off of it <clears throat> because it's been through the dishwasher it's got grease from your hands sticky from the stickers that they put on there just all of it so and it dries really quick because it's you know it evaporates then the next thing is i'm using electrical tape this time just to try it out. I've seen other people use it, and I want to see if it works better than the painter's tape. So you're just gonna tape at the bottom, right along that line. And I'm gonna be putting links to everything I use in the bottom of the YouTube video here in the comments. And then when you overlap it a little bit, cut your tape a little longer and make a little tab. That helps you when it's time to remove the tape. Okay, and you just wanna rub it on. And then you're gonna do the same at the top I am using food grade epoxy, but this just keeps it off of the lip where your um, mouth will be. And I'm just eyeballing it, trying to keep it straight. That's fine. I made my tape a little bit crooked there. I'm just going to trim it and make it straight. <clears throat> now next we're going to go out to the garage and we're going to spray it with um, some tacky spray. You can use anything. Some people use Mod Podge. I personally don't care for Mod Podge. I always find that it streaks, but I will be using it on a cup I'm doing for Brian because he has to, I, I have to have the Mod Podge for the, what he wants because he doesn't want glitter but that's a whole nother project. So let's head out to the garage and Brian's gonna spray it down for us. So now Brian has it um, and we're in the garage and he's prepared his surface so he doesn't get glue everywhere. And so now he's just gonna spray the cup with you know clean, short little bursts of your tacky glue. Again, if you use Mod Podge or Mod Podge, you're gonna wanna make sure that um, you don't have any streaks, otherwise you'll have clumpy little streaks of glitter when you put it on. <laughs> yeah, why is it on your shirt? You just want to have a clear coat all the way around it because you want your glitter to stick. Is our glitter going to stick everywhere? It doesn't look like it's there. Just stop. 
All right, I think we're good. Now we'll go back inside and we'll put glitter on it. Using, oh, I'm just using um, this Hobby Lobby Extra Fine Glitter. This is neon pink and I've put wax paper on my counter and you're just going to put it on. And the wax paper is to keep it from getting everywhere and it'll allow me to pick it back up and put it back in my jug to use on the next step. I shake it a little bit, try and smear it around. Oh, there's a fuzzy, can you grab that fuzzy? You're gonna end up doing two coats, so you're not gonna have perfect coverage the first time. I just go back over and make sure I have good coverage. Okay, so now we're just going to let this sit for 15 20 minutes or so until it kind of dries, and then we will do the next coat. Hold on. Okay. Here we are for coat number two. So he's spraying again, just covering it with the tacky glue. Go back in and glitter. Now we're just going to glitter again. I think I did on my other cup, I did ended up doing three coats, but I can't remember. So we're going to see how much coverage we get. I think this will be okay. You'll see I've got the wax paper down because when I'm all done here, I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, I might end up doing a third coat on this just because I can still see a little bit of, of the cup underneath it. So I just set this over here and then I take my wax paper and then bring it all and dump it right back in my container. Okay, now we'll 
let that sit for 15, 20 minutes and see how it looks and decide if we're gonna do a third coat of glitter. Okay, so we ended up putting a third layer of glitter on the cup and you can see it just covers a whole bunch better. I screwed up and I didn't record it. So um, we didn't get that, that recording of that third layer, but you know how to do it. So now we're going to put just a clear sealer over the top, just a cute little thin layer. It's going to make it look dull and that's okay because once we put the epoxy on, it's gonna shine back up again. And this just keeps the loose glitter from falling off while we're trying to um, put the epoxy on. And it goes without saying, you wanna do this in a ventilated area. Don't, don't close yourself up in a little closet where you don't have any air. Okay, now we're just going to let this dry for 15, 20 minutes and then we'll start the epoxy. Okay, so now we are to the epoxy stage, but I wanna go over some things on my rotisserie first. Um, Brian did some modifications to it this morning because yesterday my cup actually fell off of this little holder and landed in a puddle of epoxy here. So I have a bubble in it, which is fine for me. It, it kind of like leveled out um, in the process, but um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I was giving it as a gift. So what he did is, this is the bar. This is when he was originally putting it together that comes with the rotisserie. He measured where we wanted it and he cut it off with a sawzall. And then he put these blocks in here. I don't know if you can see that. But he put these blocks in to hold it so my cup will kind of be at a little bit of an angle up on it. So that's what we have so far. Um, I will put links to everything that I that I used in, in the comment of this video or in the description of this video so you can you can get the same stuff if you want. So first off, you need rubber gloves. That's a must because you do not want this all over your hands. So let me put that on. And I just picked these up at the Home Depot. They were, you know, a couple bucks for a, a multi-pack but I um, have ordered more off of Amazon so that I will have a, a big box of them here, but I didn't want to wait. So rubber gloves, I'm gonna move my cup out of the way. So the epoxy that I use, um, again, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $20.99, I bought it on their 40% off coupon, but again, I've ordered more from Amazon. I just am impatient and I don't want to wait for it to get here. So this is food grade, FDA compliant, um, it's clear. So this is the epoxy that I use. And it comes with these little cups, but I'm using um, these little red solo cups and syringes, like m children's medical me uh, medicine dropper syringes to measure. I don't have any of those right now, but those are what is going to be in the link for this video to order because it just makes it so much easier. And I'm using, because I don't have the red solo cup, this little glass mason jar that I will throw away when I am done. And, ooh, my radio got really loud. Um, but again, the little mason jar, or the little red solo cups, um, you could then just dispose of them and throw them away. And I'm gonna turn down that music. Hold on just a second. So you're going to want as few bubbles as possible in your epoxy. And this got measurements on here and I'm gonna fill this up to the 25. And you want equal parts of your epoxy because there's two parts to this and you want them as equal as you can get them. I'm gonna 
guys just set that off to the side and then the other piece is the B side and it's a little runnier and you're just gonna fill that up to the 25 as well Again, the little medicine syringe, children's syringe things, so much easier to use than these cups because it just pushes it right out. And then I need a popsicle stick. And I'm going to pour the B side in my glass jar to mix it. And you want to scrape the cup and get as much of it out as you can. But again, syringes will do all that for you. And then the A side, and it's the thicker piece. And get it all out, scrape it. And then what you wanna do is really slowly mix this up. You don't want these air bubbles in here. And on this layer, it's not as important as on the second layer. That was one of the issues on my cup was I have an air bubble right in the middle of my Minnie Mouse. So I'm gonna have to sand that down. So you just slowly stir it until it's clear. It takes a couple of minutes. So actually, I'm gonna just stop the video and then I will come back when it's clear because you know, how boring is this? It's like watching paint dry. Okay, so I've been stirring and stirring and stirring this and you can see it's, it's clearer. There's no swirls through it. There is some air bubbles, but you can just push them off to the side and pop them. Okay, so scrape your, your stick off and set it aside. I've reused this stick for every layer of my epoxy on the last cup and now I'm reusing it on this one. So you can throw them away or if you if you need to save it, you can save it, they, they work. So now I'm going to just put my cup onto the rotisserie. And I'm gonna push it up there really good. Like I said, I had a problem with my cup falling off. So we're gonna, I'm gonna watch it a little better this time and I'm gonna start it, and it's gonna slowly just turn, and I'm going to just pour some epoxy on it, and with my own, like my little fingers here, you can feel when you have coverage. And then just keep turning it and putting it on. Go all the way to the edge, get it up on that tape. You're gonna have plenty of epoxy if you did it at 25, so don't worry that you're running out. If you don't have a motorized one, you're gonna to wanna to sit and just put it on something so you can turn it um, slowly for a while until it kind of starts to set. Otherwise, you're gonna have runs in your epoxy, so you definitely need something that's gonna turn it for you. So this, I think this rotisserie was like $34.99 on Amazon, something like that. It's not horribly expensive. So if you're gonna do a lot of cups, it's a good investment. So you just want a nice coverage everywhere until you can't feel a dry spot under your fingers anymore. And don't worry about streaks because we are going to end up doing a little bit of sanding between these layers. Not ideal, but um, it does give it a really glossy, glossy shine when you're when you're done with it. So 
I'm just going over it lightly, making sure everywhere is covered. And this cup is for my boss. She, um, she requested pink, so it's the same color as mine. And she's going to use it in her golf club or in her golf cart with her golfing club or girl, I don't even know. She golfs with these, with a group of people. So I don't know if it's a club, I, I don't know. But she's gonna put it in her golf cart. So we're gonna put a golf image on here with her initials once it's done. Or actually when this layer of epoxy is done. So I think we have pretty good coverage. Maybe right there is a little bit more. And you can just feel when it's smooth or if you can feel the glitter underneath it. So you're going to not want to leave the tape on here the whole time or you'll never get it off once your epoxy dries. So I'm looking for bubbles. I just had one there I popped. And I'm looking for smoothness. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm gonna let this rotate and tumble for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take the tape off. So I'm watching it go around, making sure there's no air bubbles on here. And that I have coverage everywhere. There's a bubble. Oh, that's a piece of glitter sticking up. That's part of what we'll sand. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm gonna turn off the video and let this tumble for 30 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll remove the tape. Okay, so my timer just went off. It's been 30 minutes since we started our cup tumbling. So I'm putting my gloves back on. We're now going to remove the tape. So I have my rubbing alcohol here and some Q-tips, which if we have any runs or anything that got under the tape, then we'll use that now to take it off. So I'm just waiting for it to come around. It'd be easier if it was turning the other way, but it decides to turn whichever way it wants to. So try and keep one finger dry. So see here I have some runs with the um, epoxy from the tape and we will grab that and clear that up. And these rough edges here are going to be fine. So I'm waiting for this one to come back around. Because these will all get sanded down. This one's going to be tougher because I see that it got pushed up under the lip. Okay. Now I just have my rag here and I kind of just wipe my fingers off on it. I'm gonna throw these gloves away, but it just helps keep it from getting everywhere. So now I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol and see I have some epoxy here and put Put it on my Q-tip, got it on my table, <clears throat> and just kind of rub it off. It's easy to get it off now, not so easy, if not impossible, after it starts to dry.
just got epoxy on my glasses, so I'm gonna take this off real quick. Get this off my lens. come over here to this side do the same thing over here and I just kind of look and make sure that there's no epoxy up here because this is where it's, you're gonna want it to stay that brushed metal or polished metal or whatever it is I really don't know So I'm finding, because on my cup I did, I used the um, the painter's tape, and I really think that this black electrical tape has worked better. We'll see with the finished project. Oh, my dog wants in. But that's it. So now I've got it all off of the edges here. I'm gonna push it back up on my rotisserie, and I'm gonna let it tumble for you know, a total, I've already done a half an hour, of about five to six hours, depending on how thick your epoxy is. So you'll know. You can just kind of touch the bottom when you think it's um, done, and you'll, and you'll know. And at five hours, you should be able to take it off. It will still be tacky, but um, just gently touching it isn't going to, to mess anything up. So I will see you in about five hours. Okay, so this tumbled um, and it's dry now. I let it sit for a while because it was still pretty tacky after about five and a half hours. And what you can't see is it's, it's a little rough. The glitter has um, kind of poked through the epoxy in places and it needs to be sanded down. And where my tape um, picked up right here, I'm gonna sand that as well. So ideally I would have 400 grit, I'm sorry, 600 grit um, <clears throat> sandpaper, but our Home Depot only had 800 grit, so I'm gonna be sanding a little bit longer. And you, so you just, I just cut my sandpaper into little squares, and you just start sanding. And you're, gonna, you're not ruining it, so don't think that you are. It's still gonna be shiny, and I'm just gonna sand it until it's smooth. So I'm not gonna make you watch me sit and sand this for however long it's gonna take. So I'll come back once the sanding is done. Okay, so I have sanded the whole thing down and got all the rough spots off. I have also reapplied our tape and I, I tend to like the electrical tape better than the painter's tape. It just gave it a, um, a better seal underneath it. So to get all of the dust from sanding, I'm gonna just take my little rag again, put some rubbing alcohol on it, and wipe the cup down. So I'm just making sure all the dust is off, because we don't want that underneath our epoxy. Okay. Then I need to add our decal. She wanted uh, some golf. and I'm going to take my gloves off for this. I don't <clears throat> need those just yet. So I cut these on my Cricut. This is just a Cricut design. It's just the, it's called Golf Girl. And I'm gonna just put it on, and the decal of the cup is under the epoxy, but I'm gonna put that on the back. I'm just gonna rub it on, and you can use just regular um, Cricut vinyl on this. You do not have to have permanent. <coughs> excuse me vinyl because it's gonna go under the epoxy and it's gonna be um, permanent at that point so I'm just rubbing it on and then I'm gonna peel the transfer tape off it's 
not ready yet. Oh my goodness, I'm having issues. This would be easier if I had my burnishing tool out here. This is not laying down super flat, but I will fix it before I put the epoxy on. initials <sighs> I really need my burnishing tool You don't have to use vinyl here. You can use anything. You could use um, anything you could get to just stick down under your epoxy long enough to be set. So you could use paper, you could use iron on, you could use even window cling. I'm kind of wondering if this is window cling. I didn't really look. I think it's vinyl. Okay, so it's all stuck down. So now I'm gonna put my cup back on the rotisserie. Put my gloves back on. I got my these were bigger than what I what I wanted but they're gonna work perfect for the epoxy so um, I'm gonna just use these to suck up the epoxy that I want and for the second layer I'm gonna start with 10 I'm just going to double check my measurement by letting it get the air bubbles out. It's, this is the really thick one. Okay. 
So now it's got all the air bubbles out. And I'm just going to put it in our little cup. And then I have another one. You know, it goes faster if you pour it, but you're gonna get a better measurement if you use these. Ugh, this is not working the way I want it to. So don't use these. Go back to my cup. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use the cup. Gonna stir. Okay, so I really did not like those syringes and I didn't trust their measurements, so I just used my cups and mixed some fresh so I knew that it was um, equally 50 50. So I've stirred it and we're ready to start. So I'm gonna turn <clears throat> the rotisserie back on. And I'm just going to start just like we did before, smearing it on. And when I put the tape on, I put it a little bit, you'll see there's a little gap right here. And that's so you don't have a huge um, bump at the bottom of your cup and the top of your cup. It'll kind of gradually be there and taper on. So I'm just smearing it on and it'll all be smooth because we sanded. Doing the same thing we did before, getting a nice, clear, smooth coat over all of it. Want to get it really good over our decal. You won't need as much epoxy this time. My dog wants in, you can hear that.
Okay, so now I'm going to let this just tumble away for another five to six hours. Making sure I have no air bubbles on here before I walk away. And again, we'll remove the tape in 30 minutes. I think we are okay. See you in 30 minutes. Okay, my timer just went off for 30 minutes. So I'm going to start removing our tape. It's slippery. We still have a little bit of um, where it went under right here, but I've got my Q-tips once I get this side off. I still have my rag. I'm gonna just wipe off my fingers a little bit. And I will throw this rag away when I'm done because there's just so much on it. And I've got my rubbing alcohol. And I'm just gonna hit any areas that it went under. Because I don't want it to bubble. Try this side. And once I do this, I'm just gonna let it go ahead and keep tumbling for the five hours. So that means I'll be in bed when five hours is up. So I will take it off in the morning. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Here is the finished cup. I just took it off the rotisserie where it sat all night long. And this little green thing back here you see, <coughs> I put it at the end just to um, make sure it doesn't fall off in the middle of the night when no one was watching it. So there it is, it turned out really cute. Hopefully she'll like it. Um, so I hope my video helped you learn how to make these cups. As I said, um, I tried the syringe thing, I did not like it, so I'm not going to put links to those below, but I will put links to the little red plastic cups. I did like that a lot better than the glass um, jar. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can always reach me um, here below this on YouTube, in my Facebook groups, Cricut Explorer and Design Space, and Cricut Crafts on my blog, lauriesscrappybunch.blogspot.com, or, um, well, 
those are that's it those are my places i need more coffee so thanks for watching have a great day guys